Welcome back to Leftovers with Annie. The show where each week I receive a mystery product from Ace and I need to figure out how to use it in my home. And don't forget, click that subscribe button so you're not missing out on any of these projects. Let's see what's in the bag this week. As luck would have it on St. Patrick's Day, I've got green spray paint, garden green to be exact. I just bought some new jute rugs for my door. I think I can take this spray paint and create a cool design on them. I think that would be perfect for my dining room. Let me go get the rugs. I had a great idea to use these stencils to create a fun message for this front door mat. And it turned out great. It dried within 30 minutes and I still have some green paint left over. So I'm gonna take another mat and I'm gonna make a design using painter's tape and spray paint it. Let's get started. When spray painting, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I've got the door open, so I'm ready to go. With any doormat, make sure you follow the spray paint instructions for the matte material you plan to paint. Let the doormat dry overnight before using, and if you plan on putting it outside, make sure you seal it first. This spray paint dried so fast. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Let's pull the tape off. I love the way this turned out and that I got two rugs out of one can of spray paint. There's just a little bit more left. I must save it. Gotta be something else I can do with it. With a little bit of painter's tape and that green leftover spray paint, I am welcoming spring. Check out my other episode where I used glitter spray paint. It was so much fun. 